Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, help me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Sagittarius. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. Just as a side note, with any donation you give, if you choose to, you could ask me a question in the comments section, and I will make a tarot video for you answering that question. I want to apologize in advance for any background noise you may hear due to the dog snoring. All right, before starting the video, I had scurried uh, actually different crystals today. So the first one I started off with was the small quartz, and I ended up ending it with scurrying with the large crystal ball. Now, both came out with com somewhat similar messages. Nothing else wanted to come through. But the first one that showed up for in the small one was in capital letters, HE, so H-E. And then in the large one was the letter H, as in hat, capital H. <clears throat> so that could be significant to someone out there. <clears throat> Excuse me, I should have drank more water before starting the video. But with the capital H showing up in HE, so there's someone... That is a male within your life, possibly, take it how it resonates, or that has the initial with H, or this could represent you. So take it how it resonates. This will probably be like a specific uh, message for someone out there. All right. Now the cards that flipped out for you today is the two of coins. So with the two of coins being here, this represents balance. This is a choice to take. So you have two paths here, and you could choose the path that's going to lead you towards balance. Because there is some type of conflict here with the way the cards flipped out. Now, I will make the second half of the video if it clicks off. Now, with the Two of Wands being here, like I said, there's two choices here. And you are in the Queen of Cups energy, which is someone that's very sensitive, very connected to their emotions. This is someone that could be easily hurt. You could be easily, you know, offended by people. Especially if you are, what's the word for it? An intuitive. So, for example, someone hurting you will have a greater impact than it would someone else because you're very in tune to your feelings and energies. And the next card to come out for you is the Four of Cups. So with the Four of Cups being here, this is like looking at your spill cups but not seeing the gift that God is giving you yet because that is coming in for you very quickly. So the two choices you have is to look at your like your empty cup or to look at the blessing that's coming in because you have the Nine of Coins that's coming to you. This is like uh, long-lasting friendships, this is, you know, abundance. This is, you know, good things like wish fulfillment coming here for you with the nine of coins, financial stability, you know, all good things coming for you with the nine of coins and materialistic things coming in very heavily. But the next card to flip out for you was the three of cups. So with the three of cups being here, there could have been an issue at a social gathering, um, kind of picking that up. Now you're going to have means to celebrate for yourself for all the good things that are going to be coming your way. But there was, I feel like, an issue where people have caused a problem with you. You do have the Nine of Cups coming in for you as well. So like I said, this is two choices, two paths. And you have the Nine of Cups, which, like I said, is long-lasting friendships and, you know, abundance, wish fulfillment, and, you know, good things coming to you like the Nine of Coins. And you have both these things coming towards you. But there was an issue here with the Five of Wands where this is fighting arguments and disputes. So you could have already received some of these blessings and you're having like hateful, jealous people that are targeting you and trying to cause drama, trying to maliciously attack you. They're coming from a low vibrational energy. And with the capital H and he, so there could be, like I said, that could be significant to you, whether this is you or this could be the person that's causing the conflict within your life, this arguing, this fighting, this disputes. These people could be upset because you're doing well. And like I said, if the video clicks off, I will make the second half to the video. Now, the next card to flip out for you is the Fire Spark Transform. So you're very angry about what this person has done or these group of people that are causing this. This could be one specific individual that's doing this and then instigating it and then making everyone kind of target you and causing these fights and disputes. This could be within family, friends, workplace, take it how it resonates. But with the Fire Spark tra Transform, it's letting you know to transform that anger into something positive, not something that's going to be self-destructive upon you. So, for example, be in that night energy, you know, where it's good that you're defending someone or good that you're defending yourself, but be aware of the self-consuming flame that will destroy you from within. And I will continue.